Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugen Suki Racing, and today I'm going to show you how to remove your clutch shoes as well as how to install them onto a Mugen 3 and 4 shoe flywheel. Okay, so here I'm going to show you an easy way to remove this, the shoes and springs without damaging the spring. Uh, there are a few companies that make a tool that basically slides down in here and pushes the spring out of the way, but especially with the 4 shoe clutch, it's pretty easy just to use a flathead screwdriver. And because of the washer behind the shoe, you can just slide the screwdriver underneath there, pry the shoe up, and then just pull it off by hand. And by doing that, it doesn't stress the spring and you're able to actually reuse the springs if wanted. Once the first two shoes are removed, the last two are actually even easier to get off because they don't have the preload from the other two shoes. And you can pretty much use that same process for a three shoe clutch. Again, it may be a little bit more difficult uh, just because a three shoe clutch, you typically use a little bit stiffer spring, but uh, that's the process to properly remove your Mugen clutch shoes and springs. Okay, so before installing the shoes and springs onto the flywheel, if it's a used flywheel, you want to just kind of inspect it and make sure that the flywheel pins are in good shape. Over time with using the aluminum shoes, it can kind of gall and eat into the flywheel pin. So just make sure that those are in good shape. If it's discolored, it's fine, but if you kind of see a groove, um, it may be time to replace the flywheel. So for installing the shoes, I go ahead and basically load the spring onto the shoe. Um, first, let me go ahead and put the washers on. And then you'll take the shoe with the spring already in place. And I kind of just pinch and hold that so that um, it doesn't take much to kind of align the spring. And then you'll just push this tab over, slide the shoe all the way down, and then just make sure that the spring seats all the way down into that groove. And then with the four shoe clutch, I'll always install the second shoe directly across from the first shoe. It just makes it a lot easier to, in, to install. Now with the third shoe, and this is kind of how it would be if you're using the three shoe clutch, um, you'll have to open up this second shoe before you put the third shoe on. And again, just kind of push the spring out of the way, push it all the way down, and then you'll hear that spring kind of snap into place. And with the final shoe, you'll just do the same thing. Pull that shoe back, hold it with your left index finger. And there you go.